<laughs> Feels good to be the champ of predictions. So, what should I do with all these trophies? Let's just put all these down and let's go for another battle of predictions. Might I just say, everybody, welcome to another amazing episode of predictions. We got some hot takes, we got some favorites, and we got some Instagram polls coming to you right now. So, welcome to Frontline Football, your one true place to be number one in all sports. So, let's begin today with NFL predictions. Take it away, Zach. All right, so first game, uh, Thursday night game, Bengals versus Browns. Uh, what is the polls, Josh? Okay, let me go on to the Instagram polls. The polls are for this Thursday night matchup is 29% Bengals, 71% Browns. Okay, so we're going to give our thoughts on the game, starting with Jack. All right, this one is intriguing to me because it's the battle of young QBs on short weeks. But as of right now, the Browns looked awful, but it was against Baltimore. So I'm going to go with my gut on this one. It's close, but I think that Kevin Stefanski will be able to maximize his offense enough to squeak past the Bengals. Give me the Cleveland Browns on this one. I think the Browns are going to rebound this week and take advantage of young rookie Joe Burrow only starting his second games. What are your thoughts, Zach? I think the Bengals, because the Bengals looked way better in the Chargers game. And Joe Burrow, he had some mistakes, but I think he's going to fix them in this game. Um, the Browns did not look that good against the Ravens. They don't, they don't look like a Polish team that will beat any team right now. So I'm going with the Bengals. Josh? Okay. So this game is first matchup. They have a short week this week. But I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot of fireworks here. But I believe that Joe Burrow of the Cincinnati Bengals – will win the game for the Bengals because he looked pretty solid last week. The only reason why they didn't win was because their kicker did not hit that game win – or not the game where the game tire. So, so I feel like Burrow is going to have a rebound week this week and take a win against Baker Mayfield. All right. So, uh, the 49ers versus the Jets. What is the polls, Josh? The polls for this game, the 49ers and Jets, has the has the Niners winning 86% and the Jets being a measly 14%. Now, since we have a true Jets fan in the house, we're going to hand it off to him. Jack? All right. Give me the San Francisco 49ers by seven or more points. It is time to end the Jets. They are going to be eliminated in this game. Nick Bosa is going to murder everyone except Mekhi Becton. He looked good. But the I am done with the New York Jets. They have completely failed me as a fan. Adam Gase is a total moron that doesn't know how to call a playbook. I'm not even convinced he made one. I'm pretty sure he's just sketching colors, maybe drawing some nice pictures instead of making actual plays he made bubble screens on third and long and he's just a downright idiot we have no wide receivers our second wide receiver is chris hogan a pretty elite receiver if you think about it sam Darnold is going backwards in his development and the only upside was makai beckton on the offense who was pancaking people but this jets team is god awful marcus may look good but cj mosley opt out oh yeah we saw him running around at a bar from a picture so very responsible guy and he definitely justified opting out quinn williams was completely silent the entire game and of course jamal adams we i get to see jamal adams get a sack and i get to see him have a great seattle game either no props to marcus may for taking his spot and doing just as good as him i get to see robbie anderson have 100 yard games why didn't he come back well that's because the jets are a bunch of knuckleheads that don't know what they're doing. They hired Adam Gase, whose offense is ranked 17th, 21st, 23rd, and 31. What kind of coach is that? He's god-awful, and I think it's time to move on from Adam Gase by far. What are your thoughts, Josh? 
Uh, okay. Uh, I also, I mean, I have the, get out of here. I have the San Francisco 49ers taking away. They kind of stumbled a bit with the Cardinals, but this will be their bounce back week against the Jets. So, Zach, your thoughts? I think the Niners, but it's going to be a close game. Because the Niners did not look that hot during the Cardinals game. So I think it's going to be a close game with the Jets. Uh, I got the Niners. Okay. Zach, next game. All right. So the next game is the Buffalo Bills versus the Miami Dolphins. Josh, what is the polls? The polls. Let me just get to the polls. Let's see. Dolphins, Dolphins. We have an 86% of our fans believe that the Buffalo Bills will win the game. 14% believe that the Dolphins will. So let's just hand it off to Zach. What are your thoughts on this game? I think the Bills. The Bills are just good. Because the Bills, uh, not to be mean, Jack, they kind of beat your team really badly. Uh, so I think that they're going to do the same for the Dolphins. The Dolphins will get a win, but not right now. All right, Jack? Okay, I've let out all my vent-out anger towards the New York Jets and their horrible organization. But first, let me talk about the other teams, Buffalo Bills, all the way. Because look at Miami. Who did they play bad against? Cam Newton. Oh, Josh Allen. He's got some very similar attributes to Cam Newton. He ran more than he passed. He... They run heavy. They have Zach Moss, Devin Singletary, Thunder, and Lightning running back duo. And overall, Miami, I'm disappointed. I expected a little more coming out of them. I knew that they weren't going to be amazing, but I didn't know that they were going to be beat that bad. I thought they were going to keep it close. They didn't. But give me the Bills in this one. This is a pretty easy one. Bills are going to the playoffs. The Dolphins are not. That's just the reality. What do you think, Josh? I think also the Bills are going to win this game because... From the performance that they put up against the Jets, they're showing to be more trained than they were last year. Sure, they had a bit of stumble or a bit of hiccups here and there, but what team doesn't? So I got the Bills winning this game. The Dolphins, I mean, they had they had flashes here and there, but the game was just bad. It was really bad. So I just have the the Bills winning this. And they're probably winning the division, too. All right. So now we have the Broncos versus the Steelers. Josh, what is the polls? The the polls for the Broncos and the Steelers is 43% Broncos, 57% Steelers. So let's just hand it off to Zach. With your thoughts on the game. I think Steelers Steelers are a little bit of a better team. Broncos, their defense really like did not help them during the Titans game. So I think the Steelers the Steelers will win, but it will be cut it will be because of their defense. Their offense is still a little shaky at times. So I say the Steelers are gonna win because of their defense. Jack this one's got to be the Steelers because I don't know if Cord Sutton's coming back and the Steelers look like our top defense and their right tackle from the Broncos, J- J- or not, Jawan James, not Jawan James, opted out of the season. So now you have TJ Watt, Bud Dupree, Cam- Cameron Hayward coming at you 70 miles an hour on every play. And I don't know. I just can't, I can't put my finger on the Broncos as of right now. I don't want to give up on them, but... The Steelers defense is just going to honestly outplay that Broncos offense, and I think that's going to be the decider. Big Ben and Juju got their connection back, and I think the Steelers are actually trending up. I was a little low on them, but I'm expecting some big things from them now. What do you think, Josh? I'm going to have to hand this one to Big Ben and boy, and the Steelers. I mean, he looked really good against Danny Dimes on Monday Night Football. Great first game back. So I feel like... It's just going to help him this week. He's just going to keep building on that performance. Just like you said, Jack, him and Juju got that connection back. The defense is looking monstrous. Even Cam freaking Hayward, the big boy up front, got an interception. So I just feel like this team is so complete right now. 
I'm not going to say that they're going 16-0, but I do feel like this is a team you should be scared of. That, those are my thoughts on that game. All right. Any closing thoughts? All right. I guess not. Falcons versus Cowboys. Josh, what are the polls? The Falcons versus the Cowboys. We have 29% of our fans thinking that the Falcons will win and 71% thinking the Cowboys will have a bounce back week this week. So I just want to hand it off to Jack for his thoughts. This one is super duper tough because the Cowboys, of course, I feel like they could have won that game because the Jalen Ramsey's had a great acting career debut. But that's tough because Matt Ryan, he threw 400 yards and his offense looked like they were clicking. They just couldn't really keep up with Seattle. Russ Wilson almost had an amazing game. He had a legendary game on Sunday, so profit to him for that. It's tough, but I think I'm going to lean towards the team that I feel in my gut, and that's the Dallas Cowboys. I think they're going to rebound. The Falcons' corners are developmental. I think eventually the receivers are going to get to them, but then the Cowboys lost some defense. This game's going to be... Close. I think it's going to be offensive firepower heavy because these defenses are banged up or not very good. So give me the Cowboys, though, by an inch. This is a close one. What do you think, Zach? I think it's also the Cowboys because the Cowboys, they're a good team offensive-wise. Defensive-wise, they still have no secondary. So Julio will have a great game, hopefully. I'm hoping that. Um, Yeah, and that's really it. Josh? I got to go with the Dallas Cowboys. They were snubbed out of a win last week, but this week they are going to rebound against the Falcons. Now, the Falcons will put up a fight, but I feel like the Cowboys, I mean, they might have had those injuries to Leighton Van Der Esch and all that, but this week they're going to come out on top. Not by much, but they're going to come out on top against these Falcons. All right, so the next game is the Giants versus Bears. Who do you – what is the Foles? 71% choose Danny Dimes and the Giants, and 29% have chosen Mitch Trubisky and the Bears. Okay, so I just want to hand it off to Zach. Your thoughts okay. Okay. I say the Bears. The Bears, they don't look like a good team offensively, but defensively, they are a good team. And I think that they're going to cover Danny Dimes and Saquon Barkley. So I have the Bears. Jack? This one's tough because, honestly, the Bears, that was a fluky win. DeAndre Swift from the Lions dropped the game-winning touchdown. That should be in the loss column, but the Bears got a little – they got a bone, and they got lucky. But then again – The Bears' defensive front is no joke still. It's not what it was, but it's still pretty solid. It's got some good pieces. And the issue I saw was Saquon Barkley was not productive behind that O-line. So I was concerned about that. I'm concerned about both teams personally, but I'm going to go with the team I'm slightly less concerned about, and I'm going to give it to the Bears. Because of that better defense, I think they're going to be able to slow down Saquon Barkley. I just got a feeling about them. The Giants, I think they're going to struggle, but if I think if they can get the right rhythm, they could get going because I like their coach and the way they're currently forecasting. What do you think, Josh? Okay, I believe that the Giants are going to win this game because they were going up against the Steelers, so that was not an easy matchup to do at first, and the Bears had a fluke win because DeAndre Swift just forgot how to catch at that moment. So... I feel like the Giants are going to edge out the Bears here. And that's what I believe. I believe that Danny Dimes and the Giants will win this game. All right. So the next game that we got is the Jaguars versus the Titans. What are the polls, Josh? The polls for the Jaguars and Titans. Let me just get to them. This might take me a little bit. Oh, we have 29% of our fans choosing the Jacksonville Jaguars with Minshew. And we have 71% of our fans choosing Tannehill and the Titans. The Tannehill Titans. So, I just want to hand it off to Jack and hear his thoughts on the game. 
this one's tough because I was impressed with the Jaguars win, but it was another one where it's like the Colts were a fourth down and they T.Y. Hilton would have caught the ball. They probably would have been a different result. I want to pick the Jaguars to go on the Minshew Mania hype train, but this is not the game where I'm going to use my crazy upset token. I'm going to go with the team that's been put together and went to the AFC Championship. The Tennessee Titans, I think the Jags will keep it close, but at the end of the day, the Colts were a new team. Phillip Rivers is a new QB coming from L.A. He's been there for years, so they need a bit of time to gel, but I feel like these Titans have been together. They play hard, and I think they're going to win on the back of Mr. Derrick Henry. What do you think, Zach? I think it's going to be the Titans. I don't like saying that because I really like how the Jags are doing right now. But uh, the Titans, they did get – Derrick Henry did get stopped in that game, though, Jack, because Derrick Henry is not the person that carries that team like he did in playoffs. He's gotten stopped a bunch of times. And I think it's going to be down to Tannehill and how he plays in that game. So I think Titans, but I am I hope that the Jags win uh, very, very deep down. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be the person to actually just say it up front here. I think the Jaguars are winning the game because, and here are my reasonings. So before everybody laughs at me, here are my reasonings. The Ch- the Titans are the more complete team, but guess what they don't have? A kicker. He missed every single field goal except for the game winner. Now, I don't know about you, but if you can only kick extra points and you can't kick a 40-yarder and you have four chances to do it, I don't believe that they're going to win because they can get down the field but Gaskowski cannot put it in the uprights, which is his whole job. So, uh, pass my little rant there. Um, I really do think that the Jaguars are going to win. Minshew looked great last week, and I feel like he's going to pull off another upset again this week. All right. Well, has everyone went? Yes. Okay, so the next matchup is the... Lions versus Packers. What are the polls, Josh? The Lions versus the Packers. I have 29% of our fans thinking that the Lions will win and 71% thinking the Packers will win. All right, Josh. Jack, take it away. I'm going to have to play it safe again. I was really impressed with Aaron Rodgers' performance against the Vikings' young secondary. And let's think about the Lions' secondary. Desmond Trufant, out. Second cornerback, out. Jeff Okuda was out. If these guys were together, maybe my decision would be different because of the power of Stafford and Magic. But, unfortunately, I'm going to have to give this one to the Packers because Aaron Rodgers looked like 2016 for him. He was back at his power. His power levels looked like they returned. And Jordan Love must have lit a fire under him because he popped off. I think he's going to take advantage of this hurt Lions secondary. I really want to give this one to the Lions, but I just can't do it. Give me the Packers. I'm playing it safe on this pick. What do you think, Zach? I'm also playing it safe and choosing the Packers because last time I went against the Packers, they destroyed the team. So I'm playing it safe and choosing the Packers. But really, also, but same with the Titans. Really, really deep down inside of me, I want the Lions to win so that I can prove to my Packers friend that they're not that good. All right, Josh. I feel like Aaron Rodgers, Ref Ball Rodgers, will beat uh, Superman Stafford here in a grueling matchup. But I feel like Aaron Rodgers, with his clutch gene and a bit of Ref Ball, will win this game. So those are my thoughts on the game. Okay, next All game. Right. So, we have the Panthers versus Buccaneers. Josh, where are the polls? Uh, the polls, at first I thought that you said the F word for the Buccaneers, but I might have misheard you. But the polls are 86% Bucks, 14% Panthers. I just want to hand it off to Zach for his thoughts on this game. I think the Bucks, because... 
Tom Brady, he had a really bad game, but that's his first game with Bruce Arians' system. Come on. Any quarterback, except like a few, do not that good in systems that they just got into. But even with preseason, if you look at preseason games, they don't do that hot. So I think Buccaneers. Jack, what about you? Give me the Bucks. I think it's time for a rebound for Tampa Bay and company. I think that the Panthers mismatched secondary, one of the bottom half of the secondaries, in my opinion, compared to one of the top receivers' course. I think Brady's going to shred them. Remember, people are giving up on Tom Brady. He's not going to be beating the Saints, but the Saints are a Super Bowl contender. So I don't think I'm ready to hop up, hop, hop off the Brady pirate ship quite yet. I'm going to give him a win here against the Panthers, who are still rebuilding. I liked what I saw in the Bucks secondary. They were able to kind of keep their own for part of the game. And I think that Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore for the Panthers, Teddy Bridgewater, they're going to score some points. But I think at the end of the day, Brady's going to take the W here and reclaim his momentum. What do you think, Josh? <coughs> I say give me Tampa Bay here because I believe that they are the more complete team against a opponent like the Panthers. The Panthers have already shown that they are rebuilding, so I feel like Tampa Bay is going to rush through them and win the game. All right, so next is Rams versus Eagles. Eagles just took a loss, and Rams just got a win. Josh, where are the polls? The polls are 86% Rams and 14% Eagles. All right. Jack, what, do you, what are your thoughts? Give me those Los Angeles Rams. The Rams are coming back from the dead. Now, first off, I would have normally picked the Eagles, but entered receivers. And who? Best defensive tackle in football versus... The all-pro guard, Brandon Brooks, Brooks being injured? That sounds like a good combination for disaster. I mean, look at the Washington football team. Got eight sacks. Eagles D-line, or not Eagles, my bad. Rams D-line is no joke with Aaron Donald leading it. And I think Rams are going to win because the Eagles offensive line is just hurt. And until the Eagles can shake off this injury bug and get their momentum back, I'm going to be pretty low on them. What do you think, Josh? I think that the Rams are going to win this game. They seem like a better team. Sure, the Eagles look good at the beginning, but now they're all banged up. Like, even if you were watching the game, they had two of their five uh, offensive linemen that they started the season with, and it is the first game of the season, and you are already missing more than half of your line that will protect wins. So I feel like... Aaron Donald and friends will rush through this Eagles line with no problem whatsoever. Even if Jared Goff has a terrible game, the defense will pick up his slack this game. So give me the Rams. I will, I'm going to choose the Rams, but I don't like doing that because Jack and I have basically have the same exact predictions. But I'm going to have to choose the Rams because the Eagles, they've lost a lot of their line, what you guys have both just said. And I feel like Aaron Donald will have his best game of the season. All right, so the next game is the Vikings versus Colts. What are, you, what are the polls, Josh? The Vikings and the Colts. The Vikings have a measly 29%, and Phillip Rivers and the Colts have a 71% on the polls. So, let's hand this one off to Jack for his opinion. The battle of the teams that disappointed me that I thought had a bright future, this one was just as tough as Cowboys and Falcons because I saw a lot of things I didn't like from both sides. The Colts lost to Saxonville, and the... Vikings lost in some bad fashion, secondary-wise, to Aaron Rodgers. But, ooh, this one's a game-time decision, the one I didn't have planned out. I am going to go with my friends from the up north, the Minnesota Vikings, just based on the fact that they're the team that's been together longer. And I think that Mike Zimmer's going to have a long chat with that secondary and say, all right, we got carved. We need to get this together. And I think they're going to rebound where I think the Colts are going to have a slightly harder time rebounding, and I think everyone in the Vikings, they're starting to warm up to each other again. I think the Vikings will be back to form sooner than later. Your thoughts, Josh? 
I believe that the Colts are going to win this game. As much as it pains me to say that, the Colts seem like just the better team here. With Daniil Hunter going down, that was one of their big pieces on the defense. And I feel like Phillip Rivers, he will have a field day with the Vikings secondary, but he will have an easier time. And he'll also have an easier time with pressure because Daniil Hunter is not there since he is placed on IR. So just give me the Colts for this game. All right, I got the Colts also. Colts, they look better than the Vikings. Colts, at least they kept it close. The Vikings didn't. But they also lost to Saxonville. Well, expired Saxonville. So, I have Colts. Uh, So, the next team is the Washington football team versus the Arizona Cardinals. What are the polls, Josh? Our polls give us a 17% for the football team and 83% for the Cardinals. So, let me just hand it off to the one, the only Cardinals fan here, Zach, for his thoughts. I have the Cardinals. They were very impressive. They really shocked me. I did not expect them to win, even though I said that they were. That very that shocked me, so I'm going to choose them again to win because... Okay, number one, that the Niners team was very difficult. Now this is a little bit of like an easier team, and it's going to get easier, and then it's going to get harder in their schedule. So I think that they're going to get a win because, number one, at least we have an O-line because the Eagles didn't have an O-line uh, to protect against them because all of them went down. So I say the Cardinals because Kyler Murray at least got a little bit of protection for a little bit of time before he had to make a good play. Jack? I'm going to go with the AZ Cardinals on this one. I liked what I saw, them beating San Fran. I think Washington is very similar. They're like a discount San Fran. They got the Nick Bosa and Chase Young. They got a good defense and a stagnant offense. And overall, Washington won because they took advantage of a bad offensive line. And Wentz isn't as mobile as Kyler, and that's the thing. Kyler's going to get loose. He's going to find Hopkins, who recorded 14 receptions, and I think it's going to be another big day. Those two are going to eat, and I think the Cardinals are going to pull this one off. Josh? Okay, so I'm going to be the I'm gonna be the bringer of bad news to this group. But I, I don't know. I feel like the football team is going to win because – I just saw Chase Young and uh, Ryan for Kerrigan. I just saw them get around those edges and just sack wins. And, I mean, as much as I love what the Cardinals did, I feel like the football team is going to rush Kyler and rush his decision-making, which will lead to more interceptions. And also, they're going up against a defensive coach in Ron Rivera, who is – probably one of the best in the game at defense. So I just feel like the defense is going to shut down Cliff Kingsbury's offense. So give me the football team. All right. So the next game is the Kansas City Chiefs versus the L.A. Chargers. What are the polls, Josh? 100% Chiefs. No one voted Chargers. That's pretty obvious. Jack, what are your thoughts? Let's be honest. Let's just be rash here. The Cardinals, or not the Cardinals, the Chargers did not impress me whatsoever against the rebuilding Bengals defense. They didn't do anything. It's like, wow, that showed that you guys can keep up with the Kansas City Chiefs. So I think the Honey Badger and Mahomes, Clyde Edwards, Lair, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, Sammy Watkins, Nicole Hardman, they're all going to arrive on the scene. And they are going to eliminate the Chargers. I know the Chargers have good cornerbacks, so I think they'll be fun matchups. But at the end of the day, I think this defense is going to be on the field a lot more than the Chiefs defense. Because the Chargers offense is going to be doing a lot of punts and taking up very little time with the ball. I think the defense is going to get gassed. And then once the defense gets gassed, let's be honest, the Legion of Zoom takes over. And Sonic speeds the Chiefs to a victory. What are your thoughts, Josh? I think that there's going to be a blowout for the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes had a great showing last week against one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL, Deshaun Watson. And that defense, 
as much as I say that they got ref ball because the Texans had two picks, but then the refs had to come in and take them away, I feel like they were a good team. And if they can beat the Texans with some ref ball help, they are obviously going to beat the Chargers here. So I just want to hand it off to Zach to hear his opinion on this. I say the Chiefs also. It's an obvious pick, and it's the most safest out of all of them. Um, so I'll choose the Chiefs. And do I really have to say anything about them? No. They're Super Bowl champs. Come on. Okay, so the next... The next game is, Josh will be very interested in this one, Ravens versus Texans. What are the polls right now? The polls are 100% Ravens still. Nobody has chosen the Texans this year. Can somebody please choose the Texans? How about you do that, Josh? Okay, so as much as I love to say that the Houston Texans are going to win, they're going to pull out the upset, I can't really say that this week. I got to say, Lamar Jackson is going to beat the Texans. So let me just hand it off to Jack. Oh, oh no. Oh. Jack, just go. All right. I'll give my thoughts. I am sorry to the Texans fans, including you out there, Josh, but the Chiefs and the Ravens are well oiled machines in the AFC. They are hungry. They are the Super Bowl contenders, and they they get stuff done. They are elite on the offensive side of the ball, and it was really unlucky that you had to play them twice in a row to open up a season. But I'm sorry, Josh. This is going to be a loss for the Texans. I want to cheer for the Texans, but the reality is the Baltimore Ravens are elite team, and they are going to keep that Lamar Jackson magic rolling another game. What are your thoughts, Zach? I'm sorry, Josh. The Ravens are gonna win. Hope I'm I'm very sorry about that. Um but what happened the thing is Lamar Jackson's not scrambling. Judging by the last game, he passed more than he scrambled. Um what's are you okay, Josh, over there? Toro's bad about my pick. Oh, that's dope. Okay, so um, yeah, I say the Ravens. They were they were the first seed last year. Can you stop hitting that stupid pillow, Josh? Okay, yeah. So I say Ravens. All right. So the next team is the Patriots versus the Seattle Seahawks. What are the polls, Josh? For our Sunday night football matchup. It is the Seahawks versus the Patriots. And the Seahawks have 86% of the polling, and the Patriots have a measly 14%. Thoughts, Zach? I think the... You know I'll say Seahawks because that's a safer pickup. Again, I'm trying to win here, not lose this. Uh, these... Uh, competitions that we're having because we're having competitions for uh the season uh whoever gets the most wins so um i say seahawks um take it away jack hmm. give me seattle russell wilson almost had a perfect game he looked legendary jamal adams is going to ravage cam as much as i hate to see him do it in the seattle jersey but that's besides the point Bobby Wagner, Jamal Adams, Seattle played almost a perfect game. Besides, if they can get the running game going, they're going to be a well-oiled machine as well. I'm excited to see Seattle play. I think this is a win for Seattle. New England, don't get ahead of yourself. You beat the Miami Dolphins. Come on. Let's slow down. Let's take a breather and get punched in the mouth by Seattle real quick. Your thoughts, Josh? I feel like this rematch of Super Bowl Forty Nine coming to us a bit too late. I feel I feel like the Seattle Seahawks have this game in the back. Yes, Cam looked great. Please shut up, New England. We know that you think he's the next Brady. He is not. He is Cam Newton. But I just feel like the Ravens are the more complete team here. Uh, and I just say Seahawks. Did I just say Ravens and say Seahawks? I think you did. You said Seahawks, sorry. Well, Seahawks are more the, the more complete team, so Seahawks for the win. 
All right. So did everyone answer? I don't remember. Yes. Okay. So the final matchup of uh of this uh video is the Saints versus the Raiders. Joshua, the polls. The polls for this matchup are one hundred percent Saints. All right, Jack. So you guys must be thinking this entire time. He's been playing it awfully safe with the polls. He's picked the favorites almost every single time. But here comes my wild card, my secret weapon. Give me the Oakland Raiders to win this game. I know. They're in Las Vegas. It sounds Vegas. crazy. Oh, yeah, they're in Las Vegas now. I get that mixed up still. They're going to win this game. I think the Raiders are looking good. I don't have a lot, but I want to pick an upset that spices things up. And I think if any team were to interest me like that, it's going to be the Las Vegas Raiders. We got Henry Ruggs, the speedster, had a solid debut. If he's healthy, Josh Jacobs scored three touchdowns. Then again, this is against Carolina's defense. But Michael Thomas is out. I think that the Raiders are just going to outcoach the Saints. This is entirely gut feeling. Don't take any of this to heart or anything. The Saints are definitely favored and they're the better team. But I think that John Gruden is going to get it done and get a stunning upset on Monday night. Your thoughts, Zach? I think the Saints because the Saints, even with losing uh, Michael Thomas, they still have a good offense and they still have a good defense. Come on. They picked Brady, which that was pretty good. So I think the Saints. Josh? I got to say the Saints are going to upset the Raiders in the debut of the best stadium that I've ever seen, Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. About to say California, but I caught myself there. So I just feel like the Saints are the more complete team here. They're going to get the win. And they're going to show why they're one of the Super Bowl favorites. Okay. All right. I think that that was all the matchups of week two. We'll be doing predictions next week for week three. Uh, any closing uh, thoughts before we end this video, guys? I don't think so. I got all my Jets rant across. Don't forget about the... Don't forget about our trek to 50 subscribers. We are four subscribers away, so tell your friends, tell your family about us. We do a lot of fun things on this channel. We do predictions. We do news. We do almost everything that a normal football channel does on a platform that may you may not know about called YouTube. So just one more thing. Don't forget to punch that notification bell. I actually heard that time. And we'll see you later. Oh, no, no. Yes. Oh. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. Josh gets killed by the logo. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at FrontlineFB. Hope you enjoyed this pretty wild episode compared to last week's predictions. And we'll see you guys same place, same time next week. Wednesday night predictions are here to stay.